is 11.10. Um, I was just coming out here to um, to get my rabbit to sleep with. So he doesn't want to sleep in the same bed as me. Gee. And guess who I found? Four little babies. There might even still be one coming. She has done such a good job of cleaning them up. Maybe let's see if we can work out if one of them's. I'm just noticing that Lynn's putting her head under. I don't know if she's cleaning herself or if she's pulling out another one. Maybe that's the balsama. Is that the balsama? I just want to know. I can't say it. Yeah, okay, so there's only two. That's fine. So, she has to eat everything. She's done such a good job. Like, look at how clean these guys are. So these guys were probably born. Yeah, so these guys might not even be an hour old. Hi. Oh, so this one looks just like her mother. Oh, she's got a little cross crescent there. Mum needs to clean that bit. Um, and this one here, you can see that she has some grey on her. Now, neither mummy or daddy has grey. This grey is from her, um, it's from mum's mum, Stara. Stara unfortunately passed away a while back, before, just a, um, a bit after she had Feline. So we ended up keeping Feline so that she could have babies. Um, this one doesn't... Of course, the white is not from mum, and she's got a bit of a mohawk here, which is also not from mum. I might end up shaving this down and just getting this mohawk amazingness, but let's, we'll see. Alright, and she has the same eyes as her, the grandma as well. Fleen, I don't think, Fleen does not have those eyes. And Daddy knows what's happening. There's Daddy. He's not going to come in to interrupt. But I actually will let them hang out after. Um, is no, but they, Daddy can get very excited after his babies are born because it means that she, he can re-impregnate them. <laughs> Females can be reimpregnated an hour after the babies are born. Alright, let's see if I can work out if um, well, females and her males. This is, the day old, so this is just going to be a guess. Very educated guess, but like you can't know for sure uh, at this time, and it will be too hard to show you in this light. Yeah, mm, so far, this one looks like a female. Okay, so I think this is a female, and I hope it is, because that's cute, the fact that she looks like a grandma. Oh, 
look at that beautiful swirl there. I'll show you that better in a second. This is a very beautiful one. Looks like a boy so far. Oh, that looks like a definite boy. Okay, so from the look of the anus, you can see the line on the dock, which is normally a definite boy. But if I push down, I can't get out a penis. So he is very likely a boy. So I'm going to go with he and she. Now we have to think of names for these two. Okay. Uh, I'll show you the swell now. So, see that? That there is a beautiful swirl. These swirls are only created when a Rex and a, um, a, what are they called? A Rex and a uh, Abyssinian mixed. So there's a, so the Abyssinians have these rosettes, which look like this. Oh, can't see it. Look like this. And then once and then uh, Rexes have these curly little fuzzy hair that can that will end up like mum's. Um be nice and fuzzy. Mum is a yeah, um Abyssinian cross Rex. Maybe if she was just a full Rex, then this one would also be more Rexy. You can see that he has a rosette on his head. And so that's how you get these swirls with curls and rosettes mixed. That's how you get these swirls. His head's special as well. There it is. You can see his special swell there. So this is pretty much definitely a boy, and this one I think is a girl, but it's hard to tell at this point. You know, we can't know for sure at this point, because their genitals aren't fully developed yet. Guinea pigs are one of the most developed rodents in the world. So, so they are the most developed rodents. Like, they are the most developed rodent in the world when they're born. No other rodent has this amount of um, fur and teeth, strongness of teeth. Everything else that these guys have. So, other guinea pigs that, like, Daisy, do you want to come over here? Daisy has had many, many, many babies. Some of them quite late. These guys are pretty on time. They might even be early, but they should be on time. It's kind of hard to tell at this point because they are only like two years old. You can see mum's fuzziness, that's what the <laughs> that's what uh, Rex's look like. 
which is not all rex. Oh, don't do that. That's your baby. Grandma Squeak. Have you met her yet? Probably not. So Squeak is five years old. She's actually probably six now. For some reason I can't find her age. And for some reason her birthday hasn't been on the calendar so far. But um, she, that's really old. That's pretty old for a guinea pig. She's definitely a senior guinea pig. Here's the grandma. She's always loved caring for babies ever since she was no longer a baby. She was an age caring pig. Mama here is just eating behind here. She um, she is quite common for them to eat once they're done. I don't know if, it's, if there's a particular reason why they eat, if it's like they're filling up, they feel empty after that, or if they need to make some milk so the babies can eat, drink as soon as possible, or if they're just happy to have these guys out so they can have all their food for themselves. I have no idea. You can see that as well. Oh, pressure switch. Daisy, do you want to come and say hello to your nieces and nephews? Your niece and nephew? Daisy. <laughs> she might even have some brothers and sisters in there for you. I apologize for how dirty the cage is. I know it's overdue for a clean, and I was actually really planning to clean it tomorrow. Can't do it tonight, obviously, because it's the night time, <laughs> and I need to go to sleep. I don't have time. Oh, hello. What's wrong, Daisy? You're all jumpy. It's your niece and nephew. Well, kind of. So she was the sister. This is Daisy, she's the sister, um, sorry, no. she's the cousin of these guys' grandma. <laughs> I know, it's confusing. She's the cousin of these guys' grandma. So they are, like, distantly related. Of course, if she had all of her children are related to these guys, their steps, brothers and sisters. Look at how big your claws are compared to your body. Hey? It's very good that the babies get held. Um, around an hour old. Theo, you've come to see the babies. Yes, hello. Be careful. This is Theo, one of my rabbits. He's an old guy. He knows how to be gentle with guinea pigs, but I don't think he's ever been with this. No, he hasn't. He's never seen newborn baby guinea pigs before. He's seen baby guinea pigs, but not newborns, I don't think. Do you want to say hello to them? Yeah, just be very gentle. 
very gentle. He's coming here because I put because there are some leftover pellet crumbs. <laughs> All right, Daddy, you want to come and say hello to Liam, right? All right. Well, for Liam, you think you're ready? You think you're all done with the bowl? There's so little blood. Either this was a very unmessy birth, or she, or this girl is like the best cleaner. Like normally by the time the placenta comes out, it's still quite bloody. I can, you can see another one of my videos where you can actually see Daisy giving birth to these guys, step brothers and sisters. Oh, there we go, Theo. Bringing the babies up. Did you like them? Okay, five seconds of it. That's good enough. <laughs> the other rabbits are not as quite as gentle as Theo, so I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm not gonna bring them in here. Of course, if they jump in here, I will um, let them see. Oh. Even if he did like, unless he like stamped on them, that he wouldn't really hurt them that badly. Ba guinea pigs, babies are actually, baby guinea pigs are actually very, what's the word? They're surprisingly strong. Like sometimes mom can like flip them around <laughs> while trying to clean them and they'll just be a little shaken. You know? Mm, it's so cute when they try to walk. Ah, oh, there you go, you scratch yourself. Good job. <laughs> Can you try and walk, buddy? There we go, cleaning in the rosette. Very common food. Oh, there we go. Come on, you can do it. Step up. There we go. Oh, good walking, buddy. Daddy's mm. washed this whole thing. It's adorable. Not even playing the whole time. He look, it's almost like he. Do you like seeing your children, hey? The children are born. Mm, he's giving me little licks on the fingers. Probably because I just touched them. <sighs> Alright, I'll let daddy meet them. I need to like find them. Long. All right, everyone get out of there. We're gonna do it in there. We can't let the other girls in there, especially the old ones. If they, if these old girls get impregnated, um, something's gonna die. Either the babies or them. Or, 
very sad. If if Daisy gets impregnated, it's fine. Uh, like her babies are harder to sell because they have red eyes and not everyone likes that. Um, but <clears throat> um, but it wouldn't be a disaster if she got pregnant. Oh, you two are so cute. Okay. The last babies were born in here. <sighs> Not why I washed it afterwards. Crazy with mom. So Percy Drum is trotting, saying, even though I have a baby before, this is my territory. He's asleep and in his territory. Going around the place from the strutting. Joey's saying he's the boss. And she's just protecting her babies. Saying, well, even if you're the boss, these are my babies. <laughs> the drum is strutting in there. Although rats and stuff do, um, can like really badly hurt their babies and eat them or bite their heads off, like hamsters, the mum eats their own babies and stuff, guinea pigs are not like that. Maybe if he was, they weren't his children, I don't know what he would do then. But the main thing is, he doesn't know his own strength and doesn't know how weak they are. So you see, he didn't even like go, try to go around at this, that moment. So if you are going to get your daddy to um to meet the babies, for, like if you're. Like if you're breeding them, you should already know this. But if you're, if there was a little accident stuff, and you do want to get the dad to meet babies, make sure that it is um, watched. And the moment he does like anything, like anything that could possibly be not good for the babies, then you bring him out. Also, if it was an accident, I advise you not to do this with mummy here because the moment she is, she's her babies, dad will get very excited. That's what I'm saying. And he will want to make with mum again. He's actually being very gentle. He hasn't jumped on her yet, which is actually quite surprising. <laughs> and um, when the babies are a bit older, they can be like almost a challenge to him. And he'll want to assert their dominant, his dominance on them by humping them. And that's how. 
and that's the most likely way that he can accidentally hurt them by not knowing his own strength. Oh, I love it how the big brother always cleans the little sister. I love it when they're great brothers and sisters from the moment they come out. Look at that. very nice. So, one thing that I just want to make very clear, never put the dad with the nut, with the girl right when they're uh, are pregnant, so sorry, so, when she's going to give birth. So if you don't know that she's pregnant, that's okay, like, there's nothing you can do about that. You could have, you didn't know, you didn't know, you know, but um, if you I think you, there might be something that you can do for some other videos uh, online. I'll have some videos about how to tell and what to do if you're if you're pregnant. Anyway, and if you want, once the female is getting really fat, you must separate them from the the male and make sure that he is not there while she's giving birth because he will get excited and might interrupt the birth just because like the moment the moment all of them are out he's gonna want to have he's gonna want to take his chance you know this guy is pretty gentle very nice and he's having a good day today but he's being very very um patient with her, which is great. But lots of other males can just wanna, will just ev immediately get it done, you know? Jump on, immediately. And they can have no gentleness to the babies. And no, normally they don't really kill them or anything, but, and they never mean to put the babies in harm, that is unless the babies are like physically in the way or something, like, and the dad's really a mean dad, <laughs> or unless they're not his babies, then that's possible, but it's very unlikely for daddy to hurt babies. To hurt them on purpose, that is. For me, he is a very non-hateful pig. Alright. Bonnie, do you think you're done? Do you want to go back in with your other girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Busy. Busy in the spring. At least got another girlfriend down in this cave. Kinda. Alright. Yeah, I think he's done. So 
I might spend some time bonding with babies. Oh, yeah, she's chewing at the cage drawer. She wants to get out. All right. 